Yeah. All right, made on voyage. Oh, no, no, it's in the front, just like it's accessible. You know what I forgot? The fish finder. This is, mashallah, wow, rudder controls down here, stability, oh that feels, right before when I did this little wobble, wobble action, <laughs> I felt like I was going to die, <laughs> how good is this, is this what I was missing out on? My goodness. <laughs> Hands free, baby, baby. <laughs> it's this guy's fault. Ah, uh, look at this. That's awesome. So this right here now, this is amazing. I couldn't do this before, right? So all of this was impossible for me. Just to change things. Yeah, we're getting some action under right under here, Habib. Inshallah, Bismillah. Just drop this guy down. Still trying to find it. Well, this is showing me fish under us right here. Inshallah, Ya Rab. That's where the setting is. Only Dalek take that screen cover. He's got his screen cover on his gun. <laughs> Not coming off. <laughs> Look at that. Doeez! Doeez! <laughs> Doing a burnout, mate. <laughs> well, how good is this seat? Got these new Under Armours, their water shoes. So I wasn't sure how I was going to go with them being wet and on my feet. But alhamdulillah, so far so good. This is a lot easier than riding a bike. Alhamdulillah, so happy with this purchase. So even when you lean and wobble, like you still, just like you don't feel like you're going to fall out, Michelle, on the other kayak. As soon as we went that little bit of an angle, I felt like I was going to fall out straight away. Radio check, radio check. So I'm just taking my time here. And it's literally, I'm pulling 5Ks an hour. I know that I just know, for some reason when I, ah, yes, yeah, see, when you really kick the rudder, spins out so you got to hold on to the rudder if you want to really go fast hold it hold the rudder straight otherwise it's going to flip on you went kayaking once in New Zealand that was a bit of an adventure went to Milford Sound my wife and um, basically what happened was a storm was coming in and they go where are these polypros it's polypropylene or something like that and you have to check the exact spelling of it and pronunciation but it's um, the good thing about this stuff is that it keeps you warm even when you're wet even with soaking wet it, it traps your heat in whereas anything else doesn't you just feel cold and you start to freeze so here you'll still feel wet but you'll be warm so polypros guys that's the chiclet oh my god Look at these guys, I can actually turn around on this one. <laughs> I can't believe it. 
I don't know if I, if I even done this, I was like, yeah, I'm going in. We're going in the drink. Oh yeah, you're not wrong. Definitely some bites. Definitely some bites. Hey, I got a bite. Yep. Oh. It was something, man. Going back out there. Bismillah. There was definitely something on that. Definitely something on that. Just try to position my boat to the left a bit. So, this is why I love this thing. Everything just that arm's reach. I'm gonna go with these little bad boys. All right, and that's all there is to it, ladies and gentlemen. Pop this guy back in here. Get these bad boys out, and we are Rockin' and rollin'. But before anything, let's try this guy back. Oh, I've got to take a photo of that. I have to take a photo of that for him. This is awesome! Hey. How are you finding it? Alhamdulillah, man. It's amazing. Yeah? I can't believe it. Like, I cannot... To go from that pain and suffering and agony that I went through last time Just to something like this is such a blessing. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. Well, hey, honestly, man, it is worth every cent. Yeah, last time around, I was trying to dress up a bit and that's to make a big deal of it. <laughs> I swear, I was sitting there and I'm like, I was enjoying it, loving it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, I'm biting my tongue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I wish you didn't bite your tongue. I wish you told me how good it was. Then I would have been on gum tree while I was rowing. And I the whole time thinking, man, getting back is going to be a mission. While I was thinking, he's going to die on the way back. <laughs> <laughs> and I did. <laughs> you're talking about going down, uh, there's a place down there. I'm going, mate, there's no way. It's going to down there, no way, no way. <laughs> this is it. We're going to go VLAN straight back to the shore. <laughs> Love that whizz sound. For sure. They were biting my uh, soft, uh, what do you call it? Brawn. Oh, uh, really? Before, yeah. On the fight that. Uh... What brawn is that? What. Um... Savage gear. 3D. Oh. <laughs> Just hit this boat without realizing. Oopsie, oopsie, oopsie. Sorry, buddy. Sorry, buddy. Just get a boat. What happens if you don't pay attention? Oh my god, lots of bait fish here. Lots and lots of bait fish. But I don't want my guy. There's a fish underneath the sea, bro. Yeah, they do. <laughs> Put him in, bro. Put him in. That's what we're here for. <laughs> Put him in. Do 
اللي بيهمنا بس انه انه يو نو يعلقوا يا خواجه هذول هالسمك هذول خواجه حبيبي هذول ما عندهم شيء اسمه مو جعانين شبعانين هون هيك الهيئه ديان 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 زلي سبحان الله You know what, Bainy Bainak? I actually prefer the cold. Yeah. Oh, this is nice. Like, this is nice, yeah, but like, I'm not even the freezing. Yeah. But you know when you got to, you know, before you put your hoodie on? Yeah, that's right. And you're nice and rugged up? That is nice, I have to say. And you know what else? Subhanallah, man. I was drenched. <laughs> Just from paddling. <laughs> I'm, I'm dry as a bone. I can't believe this. I was absolutely drenched. In my old paddle kayak. I can honestly say, I didn't have a bead of sweat. No way. At all, at all. Right, I believe you actually. <laughs> so I'm sitting here now. Alright, so that's the height. Oh, hello. Aha. This is alright actually. Now I'm even kicking back even more. Yeah, this is alright. Balance wise, still good. You know what? It hits under here, so I might drop it a notch. Let me come up a notch. It's starting to warm up, eh? Man, that uh, scent stuff is like Vaseline. Yeah, that's right. Didn't know that. <laughs> Had I known that, <laughs> I would have brought some wet ones with me. Bring your feeding close to the base of the chair. Yep. Well, we're up. And we're back down. Woo! <laughs> Should have fallen out. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Again, an impossibility in my other kayak. Half a meter here, man. I'll have to go back. Alhamdulillah. I can't tell you it's not awesome because it is. Paddle fire time. Paddle, my god. I mean, this paddle is just for emergencies. Kayaks the fish time. Kayaks the fish. <laughs> hey, you gotta start somewhere, yeah? Uh -huh. My legend MK2. <laughs> <laughs> you no, know, sure. I was begging the guy for it. Please. I'll do anything, just give me one. Out of stock everywhere. Huh? All right guys, so here's my story. We're just laughing about it a bit now. Got into fishing maybe about two months ago now. Always had fishing rods, but never really had a chance to go fishing or, or really experience it. So I got in there with my sons and we got into that. Also, we started fishing at um, Nelson Bay. Awesome, awesome time. But then I started to think, you know what? I want to get on the water. So we can go fish rivers and things like that. And so I started looking into boats. Now for me the problem with boats is I don't have room on my driveway to put it. I already have a caravan there and there's no more room to put anything else. So boat was out of the question and plus I don't really like the, the hassle of a boat. You know the reg like first the registration, finding where to park it and then the loading, the offloading, parking your car, coming back, parking it onto the wharf, getting out, going and putting it down, you know, reversing the car down, bringing it up, 
then go through your car lovers and you have to wash it and all of that and the fuel and everything and 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 I just wanted something simple to get on the water and start fishing so since I've never had a kayak before I mean I've got I do have um, inflatable kayaks they were pretty awesome but you can't really fish out of them well I wouldn't anyway just to be too dangerous and so basically I said okay I gotta get myself a proper kayak and I want the fishing kayak so the best bank for buck that I found was kayaks to fish and they are bank for buck awesome service the guys there were great um, I managed to get a next gen 10 mark 2 awesome fishing boat but I'll get to why I'll get to why I decided to change it and sell it and move on it was nothing to do with the boat itself it was the fact that it was a paddle drive all right so we came here this is port hacking and myself and my Omar over there you got Omar? <laughs> Just swinging around so you can see him a bit better and so basically we were coming we came here I was on the paddle and I'm paddling out the kayak was awesome but I cramped up so hard now being new to kayaks the seat was high for me I didn't really feel comfortable and I took it out once went out for five meters came back said no I can't do this I went I swapped it for a lower seat came out again no I couldn't do it nothing no fault of the kayak because it's me uh, just my stability and then I decided you know I'm gonna have a go with just the um, just on the base of the kayak which is a lot more stable for me I took it to Bandina by myself first time big mistake never go first time by yourself guys actually this water is sorry I just have to interrupt that look at this that is like a mirror anyway back to story time so I took it out by myself now I went going out was fine did a bit of fishing with it awesome but to come back in what I didn't realize now being new to all this is that the tide and the current makes a big difference now I was paddling and paddling and paddling and paddling for a good 20 minutes half an hour and I felt like I was in the same spot so I started to be scared so I went to a different kind of beach not the one where I launched from but a different one and I managed to actually pull up there get out of the kayak walk it back got drenched got soaked everything that was that story second time I came out here with this fine gentleman right here and he's a uh, Kobe Outback Kobe Mirage Outback I should say 180 and basically we came out here coming out was awesome I feel great oh, man this is man remember that how good's this I was sitting down paddling away yeah but um coming back was a different story wasn't it Omar? <laughs> what are you talking about? yeah sure you don't <laughs> first time first thing that happened was my, everything cramped up so I told him man I have to go and, and park up I just have to stretch my legs because I couldn't stand in it forget that I couldn't even kneel in it forget that I was going over if I was doing that any movement anything like this let's see I was I felt like I was gonna go over so we went to Lily Pilly first time going up boom slipped on the uh, ramp nearly broke my elbow because my whole weight just went on my elbow thank god I didn't break it second time stood up again now that there were spectators now some two people came around to have a look like oh hey, what's going on here <laughs> nothing mate just a just a random guy falling on a ramp <laughs> So I slipped the second time, nearly buckled my other elbow. And anyway, I'm sitting there catching my breath. Uh, all right, let's go out. Then we came out. Now coming back, that corner. See the corner was. Uh, the further side, back. further back, wasn't it? Okay, so it was further back that way. The corner coming back towards uh, Lily Pili. Mm. Yeah, that corner. Crazy corner. They never do that. Ever. Coming back against the tide in a paddle kayak, I was going for my life. I was cramped, I was just gone finished and I was actually starting to panic because I'm like this is everything I have like, you can't fight the current guys all right you know paddle kayak you know especially a wide one like that we had some you know streamlined kayaks coming past they, they did all right but for us no well, it wasn't happening for me anyway so luckily no sorry before he even told me we pulled up to Lily's again but this time when I got out my legs just <laughs> he's laughing <laughs> I don't know what happened. My leg said, we're not having any of this, uh, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Murphy. And we're not gonna hold you up. I got out of the kayak and I just dropped like a sack of potatoes. I don't know what happened. I could not stand. And when I dropped, I slipped my feet on all, um, 
those razor sharp oysters and oh, hating my life. Ah, what an experience. And then lucky I had a rope. Tied on to this gentleman here. I actually took some footage of that. I may play some now. Alright, so this is why I need to get one of these, hun. I'm absolutely exhausted. And look, Shah Omar just told me now just by pedaling his, his legs. Look at this. And we're moving. The sea Uber, yeah. So I called the Uber. There we go. Right, I better start helping him paddle. <laughs> I'm telling me. And that was the, that was it. That was the straw that broke this camel's back. And that night, <laughs> it was up for sale. It was. <laughs> and I managed to track down this beauty. Alhamdulillah. So now we're actually cruising together as opposed to me crying in pain and just leisurely going back. Beautiful, isn't it? And the best part of it is that uh, last time around I had to go at your pace. Big True. Girl, you know, so, so yeah, as, 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 as fast as you can paddle, that's how that's the speed I was pedaling at. Whereas now, mate, you want to race? <laughs> <laughs> No, it's beautiful. No, it really is. And you get to experience the water. It's stable. We just stood up in it before. That was that was mad. You know what? It's so clear here, eh? You yeah. probably stand up even easier too. Yeah, so that's the story. So I sold the um, pedals. Pedals. I sold the kayaks to fish. But maybe if you get the pedal version, it would be great. And the summary is I've decided that a paddle kayak is only good for lakes. Um, and places where you're not, where you don't have a lot of current and things like that. So, or if you're going to come out, you need to time it with the tide. That's the other thing. You can do it, but you have to time it with the tide and the current. So that way you're going out on the outside, you come back in on the inside. If you're doing that, you're fine. But if you do get caught out, good luck. Good luck. That's all I gotta say. So that's why now I also have one of these. It floats just in case you can call for help I really should leash it up but it does float so that's that and yeah always got to stay hydrated but I'm really really happy with this outback we'll probably do a bit more reviews as we go along oh he overtakes look at that everybody <laughs> oh, <here we> go. <laughs> oh. come on <laughs> Point seven k's an hour. Oh, I lost a bit of. He's gaining. <laughs> He's gaining. <laughs> hey, I've got to save my legs. <laughs> We're still got to get up now. <laughs> How good was that? <laughs> oh well. Wow. Yeah, let's just chill a bit, man. <laughs> Take a breather. Bring it back, bring it back. Let me straighten it up. 